Someday we'll get paid for this. Hello, friends. AP Ticker here with Piggy of the Week. Yesterday afternoon, I sat down at my Commodore 64 to peck out this week's piggy. You know, it's not an easy job digging deep in the seamy underbelly of our country and city, mining a rich vein of jerks, ne'er-do-wells, greedy bastards, and assorted assholes for the worst of the worst. I do this. I suffer this because I love you. Not in a sexual way, of course, but more like a like a hungry man loves a nice rare steak, hot off the grill. But I digress. Friends, when I finally went to bed last night, I still hadn't come up with one individual piggy. Each one was unique and beautiful in its own way, kind of like a, a snowflake <laughs> or a piece of lettuce left in the toilet after an unusually loose stool. I tossed and turned all night and didn't sleep a wink which is why I feel like I just downed enough acid to have me tripping balls for the next eight years. <laughs> How could I, A.P. Ticker, deny you my thoughts on the Arlene Ackerman debacle? Why, it's a veritable petting zoo of piggies. Ackerman grifted for the city for millions, just like she did in San Francisco. Conflict of interest riddled school reform commission protected her and a feeble mayor nutter engineered secret deals with wealthy donors to pay Ackerman to leave, leaving the public out. Can you say quid pro quo? And speaking of our mayor, isn't it wonderful to see his sudden interest in youth violence? He never said anything when black kids and Hispanics were getting jumped in North Philadelphia. He never said much when Arlene Ackerman was letting black kids get away with a campaign of violence at South Philly High. But, aha, my friends, it is an election year. If you want black folks, if you want white folks, Latinos, Asians, or anybody else to respect you and not be afraid when they see you walking down the street, then leave the innocent people who are walking down the street, minding their own damn business, leave them alone. Stop it. Cut it out. That might explain why the mayor is offering $20,000 reward for information about the recent shooting at a Southwest Philly basketball court. And why he didn't offer a similar reward after an earlier shooting at the same basketball court and after the shooting that happened last year at the same court, and the year before that, the mayor's disinterest at the time is understandable. He was simply too busy trying to close libraries, pools, and rec centers. By the way, a personal aside to Southwest Philadelphia. That shooting took place in front of 500 people. Don't tell me no one saw anything. Friends, the hallucinations are getting stronger and I must shift gears lest I begin to tear off this hot, stuffy, oppressive clothing and run through the city like the mighty elk that once graced our state. You may have heard that the Republicans recently took a pledge to vote never to raise taxes on anyone, ever. Well, as the song says, taint necessarily so, taint necessarily so. While they did manage to throw our economy back into turmoil by refusing to entertain any revenue in a deal to raise the debt ceiling, the Republicans now say they want to end President Obama's payroll tax cut, a tax cut that primarily helps the middle class and the working poor. The same people who have twice insisted that the rich pay no extra taxes simultaneously insist that they have never believed that this type of temporary tax relief is the best way to grow the economy, end quote, when it comes to you and your struggling family. Now do you see, friends? Now do you see what I go through for you, my beloved audience, or if you prefer, beloved audience, every blessed day of the week, month after month, 
do you see? I'm A.P. Ticker. One pill really does make you larger, while the one that makes you small is overrated. Thank <laughs> you.